welcome, 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 raw love, Taurus. Okay, um, I want to talk about a few things first. Okay, I do want to tell you this is going to be the first couple weeks in November, the first half, and then we'll switch off to the other half. I am doing every two weeks anyway. Okay, um, your planet is going retro. Okay, so some things are going to come up. I could have sworn I just saw something. Some things are going to come up. All right, it's going to be a little tougher. Um, you're definitely going to feel a little more bra uh, scatterbrained than usual. Okay, because uh, Floridians can be a little scatterbrained, okay? Um, um, it's important for you to, to maintain, I need to write something down while I do this, I'm sorry, before I forget, maintain, you know, I know it's important you like to maintain perfection sometimes, but things might not go as planned, okay? So it's okay. This is when we need to work with other energies right now too, okay? Um, it's important because like I said, it, it, it's your, your planet is most definitely going retro, you know, Venus is going back there okay and venus likes the um you know it rules how you know your romance your flirtation um your money certain signs okay um sorry your money all right rules the sixth house um with health and work too okay so um you can be a little more disorganized than normal um Try not to indulge in, in too many things, especially um, sweets, sluggish energy, okay? Don't don't um, sit in them for too long, for sure, okay? It's a period that is meant to help you think about um, the many ways you want to improve certain things and, and where you're going on this new journey that, that's taking you, okay? Um, especially your work ethic, okay? Allow yourself to... Um, Absorb this energy and contemplate what needs to be contemplating, okay? Contemplate what you can change because change is important right now, okay? Because you're going to be faced with, you know, especially unhealthy habits right now. And um, unhealthy habits are, are definitely no, no good, okay? So um, I, I, I need you to um, definitely focus on you, okay? Because like I said, you're going to be a little more scattered. Than, than normal, but um, it is definitely all good, okay, this is why I'm doing, sorry for this distraction, guys, I didn't want to forget, this is why I'm doing the spreads that I'm doing, okay, this is why I also did the, how he or she feels about you, how your other half is feeling right now, okay, because I need to get you where you need to be, I need you to focus on you, your zodiac, where you should be, how to get there, okay, what needs to be discussed, what you're doing that's fantastic or what you're doing that's hindering you okay so um again you know i i, I do my dailies i i do videos all the time that kind of tells you your love situation so right now you know going into november going into the new year it, it's really important to get a grip on on who you are okay. so i might need to grab this Hello? Where were we? So, right now I do not. So, um, I'm going to do the rose spread with the tarot, tattoo tarot, okay? Uh, it's going to talk about the core issue, how you're presently feeling, your attitude towards things, your past advice, um, where you're currently, well, your past actions and your current advice where you need to be, um, your present feelings, um, where you're heading and the advice for November or at least the first couple weeks, okay? So let's find out where my little bulls are at. Let's let's do this. Let's do this, Brutus. I changed up the decor. I kind of brought it back to um I kind of brought it back to where it originally stuck kind of where it was originally was yeah I know my hands like wild today it's like a it's like a big lion to me but I'm going with it all right I'm going with it so um find out where my sources are Find out your core issue. 
find out your core issue. Okay. That. I don't read these cards reversed, but it will tell you. I hope you're not fighting it. Okay. Because this is an issue right now. All right. Is going through this transition. Okay. So when I said things are going to be a little scatterbrained, I mean, you are definitely a little scatterbrained right now. Um, I see a little sorrow, but this is a transition that you need to work with. Okay. Whether this was, this card always reminds me of a physical death. So if that's the case, I'm incredibly sorry. Um, but, um, I hate saying, but after that statement, but, <laughs> um, this is more speaks of a, a transformation in, in where you're going. Okay. Leave the past in the past, be in the present moment, continue growing, continue going to where you need to go. Um, please don't fight this transition. It's really important. Okay. Um, you can push through this. Okay. Don't try to perfect anything. Um, you know, considering, you know, it, it's scorpionic energy right now and it's working with the underground and on top of it being it's going retro and it deals with emotions and flirting and, you know, work and family life and lovers, you know, it, it's heavy. Okay. You can most definitely push through this, so no worries. Um, this is your past attitude or your past feeling, okay, um, that apparently you might still be battling, okay, I think you're going through the transition now, which is fantastic, so it's the Hierophant, so it was probably a relationship with somebody in the public eye, or you were in the public eye, somebody, um, taking advantage of that situation, um, and it's funny because, oh, that is really bizarre that that just came on. I'm not even on YouTube right now. I don't know if you're legitimately dealing with a cancer. Um, let me put my music back on. I don't, I don't know what that was all about. Sorry about that, okay? Possibly dealing with a cancer. So, like I said, I don't even have it on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Um, but I don't normally look at that, the Hierophant as being arrogant ever, and I'm feeling it right here. So, but you're also dwelling on the past, okay, and your head is down, go, moving forward. So it's like, instead of soaring, you know, instead of being that eagle, you're being a chicken, okay? It's a story I told once, a chicken, how they're at the, the pecking at the ground, okay? Take your head up and walk tall. Um, you're going through a transition, okay, um, focus on belief right now, please, you need to believe, um, I do have a video about belief that I haven't put out there yet, if for some reason you are struggling with this, please email me, put in the caption, belief video, and, um, I will get that to you, um, so, Accept this transition that you're going through, okay? Um, you need to believe in yourself as, as of right now, okay? That is the past, which is great, but the, the current is still going through this transition. The, the current energy is still accepting, you know, what's happening. So um, I think this month and the next couple of weeks, belief is going to be key for you, okay? Um, I will tell you my belief video has to do with just, you know, gaining hope again just believing in things and when you finally regain hope and, 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 and trust and, and faith, you know, you can stop believing again. It's tough sometimes. Okay? I know. But um, you're going to be okay. All right? Make sure you watch the other zodiacs. So let's find out, you know, your past, your past actions that you took towards this. All right? Um, you have strength and you have the six of cups. So this is, this is not you know, your past actions, I, I want to say it's you having the strength, but you must not have had the strength or you and what this is saying is, you know, you were dealing with something toxic, probably when it has to do with your past, whether it's, it's thoughts, family, children. Um, what this is saying currently is that you do have the strength to maintain and push through. Okay. So whatever was going on in the past, whether it had to do with a relationship, no matter what type of situation, um, Please continue to have this strength, 
okay, because in the past, you, you did, you got yourself out of something toxic, but at the same time, was still struggle, struggling this transition, and I really feel like this is a belief issue, okay, it's just a new period, and you just, of your life, and you, you're feeling like you've sacrificed so much, and you're just, you drained, I, I know what you're feeling, okay, it's gonna be okay, this, this new moon in Sag should help you, so please watch your other zodiac sign. You're going to be a little scatterbrained, like I said, but it's okay. Continue to have the strength. Accept this transition. Accept what's happening right now. It's going to make it easier. Okay. Um, let's get advice. Get some advice from my Taurus. Let's go to the Advice. 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 I might be dealing with a sport, too. And then cancer came on too. Which is weird. Um, the Ten of Cups. Wow, gosh, this has come out in the last two years I've done. Um, your advice is to is to find happy to to find something that completes you that makes you healthy, happy, self completeness. Okay, it doesn't need somebody else. Okay, but this also talks about a move in abundance all the way around, okay, like, this is your advice, keep working towards this, some of you, and I hate stressing it, have lost your faith, because you've lost hope, okay, it's temporary, and when I said that, it was just 1, 2, 3, 11, 23, it's temporary, okay, um, continue going after what it is that serves you, what it is you desire, what it is you want to complete to get to where you need to be. Okay, continue to have that strength. Don't let ego get in your way. Okay, don't let the the lack of hope right now hinder this. Okay, because your advice is to continue to push through, complete this cycle. Okay. So, how you're presently feeling? Two of them. So, you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords comes in swinging. Okay. Um, with the Three of Cups. So, let me just. This three of cups, you embody the vibrations of a loving atmosphere and a true friendship. The three reminds us it's time to take a joyous and celebrate into what you're grateful for and bringing love and happiness into your new life. Okay? So, you know you're going straight to that ten of the cups, okay? But for some reason, something keeps hindering you, which is this knight of swords. Okay? Um... The three are festively painted on these teacups, stacked upon each other, so it's calm, it's quiet, it's joyful, it's gathering with friends. Each cup is unique, okay? Um, the large purple rose sits for the for grounding. The purple is the fullest of the blooming, symbolizing maturity, healthy, vibrant friendships. The two candles in the background are burning here for a while because it has plenty of things to remain to, to continue burning. Take this time to enjoy yourself and the wonderful people around you. Go celebrate, dance, laugh, be happy, show gratitude. Be with your friends, your family members. Don't forget about your life, okay? <laughs> Don't forget about your life. Um, there is most definitely a lot, a lot, a lot going on right here. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have Scorpio in you... Um, I misfed a card earlier, and for some reason I wanted to bring it up now, so I don't know if you have sport in you. Um, let me just get to the, the Knight of Swords here. Okay. 
So this knight is fully dressed in armor and aggressively dives into the battle. His horse is white, symbolizing purity and good intentions. However, it has two heads, which is facing in different directions. Without proper focus, this knight can be hard working. It's going to take a lot longer to win this battle. He bursts through the golden flames, but will not be contained, all right, because he's not seeing structure right now, too. Your ambition, your drive will be quick and impulsive. So make sure you think before you act, and especially before you speak too harshly. You have a lot to offer, so choose wise words. This battle may not be necessary. A simple conversation may surface, okay? Um, so if you're waiting for a conversation, it may come around, and it's going to be the Three of Cups. It's going to be something happy, but watch watch what you say. So maybe you're waiting. Maybe you know this, this happy is coming, you know, but the universe is saying push towards it. Maybe you don't want to accept it, okay? Because this hierophant, this belief of you not wanting to accept something is two-headed as well. So I don't know if you think someone's shady, okay? Um, but the universe is saying, you know, it's, you know, this was a heartbreaking situation. Um, but you're alive. Accept the, trans the, the transition, okay? And go towards it. Um, I will tell you if you are a Scorpio and I'm going to recap for you guys because I'm doing this, um, cause I could have sworn it was the three of cups, but it must've been, um, I'll look into it afterwards, okay? I will tell you, um, the core issue right now, I'm so sorry about that. Your core issue is not accepting this transformation. I don't know what happened in the past, but yeah, I feel like you had an arrogant attitude towards something. You were dealing with something toxic, and it had to do with your past, okay? Right now, they want you to focus on your happy, your new, what's, what's going to bring you fulfillment, okay? The Three of Cups does talk about, you know, going out and celebrating and having a great time, okay? Taking control of your life, all right? You might have a conversation that's coming in. Um, I kind of feel like you don't want it, but the universe is saying, go ahead and go for it, okay? So let me tell you where this is heading. <clears throat> regardless of the card in the, regardless of the card in the Scorpio video, it was a celebrating card too, so don't, don't panic, okay? Um, so that's too many. My little Taurus says, Taurus says, where is this heading? You know, because your advice is to go towards your ton of cups, you're happy, okay? But, um. This past and this transition and this this proximity again it's two, um, was really holding you back. So where this is heading, this is the sun. This is beautiful with the ten with the nine of cups, guys. This is gorgeous. Okay, like you're about to get the clarity. Um, if you're questioning growth, there's been growth. This is a dream. This is something you've been manifesting. Um, this is a cryptid message as well that only you will understand. Okay, um, it looks like you might be, you know changing households or, you know, um, committing, maybe moving into each other, moving into, um, moving into a house with somebody. Um, I see, you know, maybe in the winter, the colder months now, I see the fireplace going, I see growth, I see happiness. I mean, this is beautiful. I see you guys looking at homes. Okay. Um, possibly settling down, having a family for those who don't have one yet. Like this is where it's heading is, is happy home, a family, a committed relationship, dreams coming true, happiness, celebration. Hello. Hello. I'm a Taurus. I am a Taurus. <laughs> I wanted to say I'm a Taurus. I want to be a Taurus. All right, my head is like zoom. I'm so focused on my zodiacs today. I'm, I'm forgetting again. All right, but this is gorgeous. This is where this is heading. So if you're doubting this conversation, 
or transition, you're going to be okay. And I know whatever is coming, especially if it's a conversation, no matter what's coming, you're, you're going to be a little clusterfuck, but the outcome is going to be brilliant. Okay, so advice for the future. Advice for the future. You know, this is this is heading here. Your advice is is if it makes you happy, follow your soul. Go after it. No matter what this is that's coming in towards coming at you. If it hasn't come yet, it's it's coming. It's clear as day. All right. That when you go through a transformation, you know, you let you release, you get that belief back, you have that strength. This is all coming in. I mean it's it's quite the story I have on my board. Um, I will tell you, this story has been being told for a while. You've been dealing with something for a while. I mean, I can see, I can literally see the journey. And this is the first time in any Zodiac that I've, I've seen this journey. Okay. So this is the advice for the future. And it's it's the moon. All right. And what this is saying is is go towards the unknown. Don't don't question the unknown. Okay. Um. Go towards it because where it's heading is growth, clarity, happiness, dreams, adventure, complete fulfillment. Okay, so you're letting something get the best of you right now. Um, please try to look at this differently. Okay, please. I'm sorry for the interruptions. This was, um, it's so funny because in the beginning I talked about this situation being more more scatterbrained than normal. And this is exactly how this read just went. Non-intentionally. So I am proof. <laughs> I am proof of the, of the scatter, of the scatterbrain. I'm sorry. So. Like, yeah, Taurus, you're a sport. I mean, yeah, that too. And a Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, you guys are dealing with a sport. There's no question. Or I can't say because that video, I'm not even on YouTube and it just came out of the blue. So, Taurus, 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 my little Tavidians, my little Tavidians. Wow, they're really thinking. They're giving you a good one. Okay. Your hard work is paying off. I told you. Don't, don't worry. Try not to worry. You need, um, I can't express to you enough that, um, this lack of faith, it really needs to be turned upside down. Okay. A new outlook. A new, a new take on life. Okay. You got this. You got this. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. However, you're going to have a different type of working life. This card heralds a new start to improve the new work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, it is time for you to rejuvenize yourself, take position into something new. However, or whatever this question is work-related or otherwise, a new plan or a strategy is called for. You need to look at something as in a long-term commitment. Okay. Um, drawing this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious, no matter whatever it is you, you want to achieve. Attune to the moon. Make a proper plan and execute it. Okay. Additional meanings for this card. You need to be more disciplined with your goal. Hard work and your dreams are becoming reality. A very good omen to study or teaching. Don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is too controlling. Okay. So keep keep building. Okay. This confirms that pretty much his whole read. Okay. Go towards your dreams. It, it's coming. And some of you are fighting this transition or this lover, this person, this, this situation for some reason. You're having a hard time with it, but the universe is saying, please go towards the unknown. Okay. Um, you just need a new strategy, but it, you're going to get that strategy. Okay. Because this Knight of Kings, this Knight of Swords, all right, new ideas, new fresh ideas that just kind of happen out of the blue. Okay. Um, which is beautiful. So it looks like in the next two weeks, um, it is going through this transition and this your advice is to go towards your soul follow your soul right now okay um if it's work related 
if these new ideas, these fresh ideas, they're coming, trust me, okay? Um, but your, your biggest advice here is your work or this situationship, love situationship, whatever this may be, it, it can be completed with the Ten of Cups. There, it, it can grow. It can be a dream. Something you manifested. Again, your best advice is go towards the unknown. It was just 24-24, okay? So, um, yeah, a little scatterbrain, but it's, it's all good. We know how to work with this energy now, don't we? Okay. I think I, I think you're like, huh, oh, I'm a Taurus. I've been dealing with Venus. You know, something should have came in or this should have went better. Nah. I knew it was going to be a little tough for my Caribbeans. Okay. It was tough for everybody. And, and it's going retro. But, um, you need to let go of what it is you're holding on to to have this. Because you're about to to get blessed with what it is you've been wanting. It's just taken a really, really long time. Okay. And sometimes that happens. But don't don't lose faith. It's coming. I love you guys.